afternoon at Desmond Hall, the people within the mansion go about their daily lives. A relic from the Egypt of long ago, brought from a secret door to a room between this world and the next, seeks the person, pure in heart, who will serve its foreordained purpose. Moving mysteriously from person to person, as if guided by an invisible hand, the key creates confusion and apprehension in those who learn of it, or hold it briefly in their possession. The key! It's gone! Shaped like a cross, but oval on the top. That's it. It's the key Jean-Paul lost. Why did it come to me? Jean-Paul. He's rest. Well, I have to return something to him he lost. What is it? This. Well, what's the matter? Do not give that key to my master. Well, I promised him I would. You must not. Go to your room. Quick, before someone sees you with it. Hurry, I beg of you. It is necessary only that you obey. Well, Jean-Paul insisted that I give the key to him if I found it. I will explain it to him. Well, he told me he lost it. He did not tell the truth. That key has never been in the possession of my master. And it must never be. I can't refuse to give it to him if he needs it. That key brings evil to all who touch it. Well, I've touched it. Yes, but you have the protection of your totem. My master has no guard against such evil. Well, perhaps the key will be his protection. It protects only the pure in heart. And cousin Jean-Paul is not pure in heart. I did not say that. There is a curse on the Desmond family, isn't there, Raxel? I do not know. I only know the key is dangerous for my master. How did it come to Desmond Hall? Keto brought it back from his journey. Keto? He's dead? The key brings death. It brought death to Keto. Brought death to your cousin Philip. It is a messenger from another world. A world in which human beings would do well to let alone. Well, then, you give it to him for me. If I touch it, I will die. I've touched it, and I still live. Do not compare yourself with me. You are young in the ways of the world, and you are much younger in the ways of the spirit world. Then what am I to do with it? It must be taken from Desmond Hall and never returned. No. I must give it to Jean-Paul. Do as I say. Destroy the key before it destroys you. Give it back. Give it back to me. It's mine. What is going on here? Jean-Paul just rushed past me and slammed himself into his room, and now I, here you are, shouting into empty space. It's gone. It's gone just like that. What has gone? The 
key has disappeared. I know. How do you know? It disappeared earlier today. I put it down on the table right there. On the same table? And then we looked over here, and then we looked back again, and it was gone. And we didn't know how or where it went. It came to me. Did you show it to anyone? To Mrs. Hatter and Jean Paul. Oh, then it hasn't gone to either of them. Why not? Because it only appears to someone who has not seen it before. And it's searching for the pure in heart. Well, it, well it's appeared to me and it's appeared to Laszlo. So I don't agree with your explanation. Oh, it, it can appear to anyone, but it doesn't stay. It can't stay. I'll find it. It's here somewhere. If it appeared to me, it's going to appear to someone else. And when it does, I'm going to get it back again. Molly, tell me something. What? Are you pure in heart? Don't tease me. I'm serious. Answer me. That's a silly question. It is not. You see, I'm trying to find those that are pure in heart among us. Why? Because they can lead me in the way I want to live my life. No one gets what they want from life. Are you pure in heart? I don't know. Leave me alone. promises. Why does every happiness turn to sorrow and death? Don't be despondent, dear. We must be patient with life. Everyone has felt the way you do. But sorrows pass. Wait and see. I won't wait any longer. Ever since I came here from Maljardin, my life has just been misery. Except for Philip, he's been my one happiness. Philip is dead, Holly. You must forget him. He speaks to me. Can the dead speak to us? I don't believe they can. Philip speaks to me. He waits for me. Somewhere. He calls for me to save him. But I don't know where to find him. But I will find him. And I will save him. No matter what the price I must pay. Orendo. Orendo. Guardian spirit. Shield me from the evil, Utgo. Bring me good fortune, guardian spirit, Orendo. Yes? It is Ratzel. Come in. Have you destroyed the key as I instructed? I do not take my instructions from you. Do not defy me. I cannot break my promise to Jean-Paul. Your cousin did not know what he was asking. I think he did. And I'll go to him. I have made certain that you will not see Jean-Paul Desmond until that key is out of your possession. If it comes to me without my asking for it, why do you think it won't appear to him? If it had been meant for him, it would, would be with him now. He has already seen it once. And it disappeared from his sight. Louis, will you help me? I'll do anything I can. Oh, thank you.
River Caves of Desmondton. I've been looking for it. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been using it in my work. What is it? Look! 